Just yeah, in we'll, case. We'll just see what the chat says. So you're on three, two, one. Hi, All right. Oh, you were gonna introduce me. Yeah, this Go is, ahead. This is BBF underscore blah blah foo, the best Bashi runner. And uh, he's going to be running the hardest category. You're gonna get rage mode. You can count me down whenever. You don't want to say hi? Hi. I can say hi when I start the run. <laughs> Alright, sounds good. And... 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good luck. Thank you! Alright. Most of you probably know this game, so I don't have to explain it, but... We are playing on the highest difficulty. Which means... There are like no save points. And bosses have double HP. So yeah, there's only a save point at the start and at the end of each world generally, with some exceptions. Which means this run is not marathon safe at all. So yeah. I don't know why I'm doing it in a marathon. But here we are. Um, I'm gonna be grabbing this item here. To catch Ghastly later. Which helps us with boss damage. Um, the main difference between this and average mode is that you don't have saves to save reload from, so cycles have to be done manually, so that's the game setting them up for you. The good thing about this run is that you see a lot more from the bosses, and you see World 4 and Gradius, which might not be a good thing, because Gradius is Gradius. We will see. So yeah, this world is a lot slower than average mode, because average mode's like, reset strats everywhere. But we can't do that. And if we die, we lose like a minute at this point, so let's not die. This is also the very first time this has been run in a marathon. Also, most of you probably have never seen a run of this, because... This doesn't get run a lot. <laughs> I like four runners that completed a run. At least in single segments. Not we might just have first tried world one. I probably shouldn't have said that, but I did. Let's see. Yeah, we first tried world one. Good start. All right. Now for the boss that has double HP. You're gonna see every attack of this boss. How hype. Except that I might die because the attacks you usually don't see are actually RNG. Did I mess up? I messed up. Oh god. This is going great. So damage optimization is not nearly as important on rage mode. The main goal is not dying to bosses instead of killing them really quickly, in my opinion. I still want to get good kills though which is not happening on this boss. So yeah, so we, we are gonna have to do a second cycle of a lot of the bosses. It's like the main difference. Oh, okay. Um, I didn't split. Whatever. First try. The run is perfect so far. Literally perfect. And now this is where the game actually begins. World 2 is... Very, very long. It has a lot of screens. It has the Krakow fight, which costs like for 30 seconds. And everything after Krakow is difficult. Before that, not so much. This world is jokingly known as World 2 Long. Because it's actually too long. It's like, probably the longest world in the run. Another thing to note is that you are probably going to see me shoot saves that are not there. I'm doing that on purpose to trick my brain into thinking this is actually average mode. It, it helps. You wouldn't believe it helps, but it does help. It helps set my mind to the muscle and memory that I need. It's Krako. Um, the mini bosses are not buffed in this, so he still has the same 20 HP, the same quick kill and everything.
Basically, you hit him twice at the start, and then you can kill him while he's flying over the floor instead of on the right side, which saves like 8 seconds or something. But once again, 8 seconds does not really make or break a run in this category. It's about not dying past Krako. Alright, this is the hard part of the world, the shaft. Nice. But we're not done yet. Now for the mini chef that is surprisingly difficult for me. Nice. Alright, one more thing to go. One yeah. more difficult thing. And no. It's not Kirby Jump. <laughs> I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. No one can make me do Kirby Skip in this category. And we actually have to wait for the spider for once. Which is something when you first play this game as a speedrunner on rage mode. You forget about that sometimes. Alright, now for the choke percent part of this world. Oh, I did it. Good. Nice, first try world too. I don't even know what's happening right now. Run is insane. <laughs> um, I forgot to mention whenever I first try a boss, whenever I beat a world, feel free to spam BBF Happy or Pock Champ or Feeds Good Man or whatever your favorite type emote is. Oh, we are not getting a three cycle here. <laughs> that was terrible. I don't care though, three cycle is whatever. I would kinda hope that DDD is buffed in rage mode, like he has more HP or does more commands. That would be really fun, but it's the same old fight. Now we rewind control for double shots. <sighs> and we get to Ryu. Another fight that is not that much harder on rage mode. I would say. It barely gets buffed. It's like pretty much the same. Yeah, keep that BBF happy is coming. I live for BBF happy. Oh, I got the low angle Hadouken. Rip. That's annoying. He's supposed to aim at you, but sometimes he doesn't. And then that happens. I think I jumped too early, which made him do that. Funny, I think I've never died to this boss really lately. By the marathon run, so we need some fuck ups. Language. Hi. So this attack is hard sometimes. He's not on Jimmy. Oh god. No, <laughs> that was my fault. That was my fault. And finally, the run is bad. That's fine though. The common logic for me is I first write the word so I can die on the boss a bunch. Which is a pretty nice way to look at it. I usually kill him before the second car, but I didn't the first time because my mashing is bad. Not bad, bad, but not amazing today because I'm nervous. My hands are a little bit shaky. I'm usually not very nervous for marathon runs, but this is a little bit different because this is actually probably the hardest marathon run I can do. We're gonna catch Ghastly. We have a spooky ghost following us during bosses. So world 3 is probably the easiest world on rage mode, except for one screen. I mean it's basically the same anyway, there's like no safe reload strats really, save a bunch of time, so you basically play the same world except for the second cheetah man room. <laughs> My biceps is trembling dude. 
That's that's gonna be a meme soon, I think. There's a quick cycle on this part. Usually you wait for the wall here, but you can just go fast and do that. Alright, now for the three cheetah man rooms. The first one should be easy. The second one should be pretty bad. Because there's no safe to set it up. Yep. I actually hate that screen on rage mode. It's the only one I die on regularly in this world. Other than that, this world should be fine afterwards, unless I get really bad RNG. <laughs> oh my goodness! That's not where you die. That's like a mistake that doesn't happen to me that much. It happens to other runners. I think Illusion dies to that a bunch. Pretty sure he stopped as well. Also, Rip Illusion. I hope his thumb is gonna be okay someday so he can play Boshi again. Let's just do it now. That's actually something I want to show off on the second Cheetah Man, which is a really fun glitch that I hope happens, even though it wastes time. So yes, yeah, here we go. He does a second line of shots, so... We pretty much have to wait until he stops. <laughs> we could leave the screen and make him respawn until it doesn't happen, but I don't know the strat for that, so I'm not doing it. That was not good RNG, dude. Thank you very much, Cheetah Man. I was actually... I should have waited. There's no reason to rush that. Yet I did. Also, my PB for this is like 58 minutes and 46 seconds or something. Which makes you wonder why the estimate is 1 hour 30. But there's a very good reason for that. We're gonna get to that in hopefully about half an hour. If everything goes decently from now on, which it doesn't seem to yet. Oh yeah, when I choke somewhere, you can post loot like this. You can stop now, dude. Can I, like, hello? He's gonna stop eventually. Just believe. You see? Usually he stops after a couple of seconds. Oh my god! This is going terribly. That's what I get for calling it the easiest world in the run. <laughs> like, legit, I have not been stuck on this world for more than like three attempts ever. And now we are like six attempts in or something. We are gonna make this though. I was actually in the next world I was afraid of. I was very close. The next world is where I expected to lose a lot of time. But it apparently this one, so maybe we're gonna first try World 4. I hope everyone is hyped for World 4. You don't see World 4 a lot in speedruns. Are you gonna see it today? What is happening? Why am I so bad? I legit have not been stuck on this world in rage mode ever, not even on my first playthrough. Given that my first playthrough was when I was already really good at the game. So at this rate even a casual player could be farther than me. TBH. Oh my sweet Jesus Christ on a bike. This is going horrendous. I'm getting a little bit frustrated now. At this raised pace, we're gonna hit the estimate before we get to World 8. That would be bad. I 
Also I plan on skipping world 8 if I take too long on it. I'll back up safe after it. I know it's an, not a legit run anymore, but... Instead of being stuck on world 8 forever, I'm just gonna skip it after like 15 minutes or something. Are you... Ah! I'm so mad now. I'm, I'm really, really mad now. This is absolutely ridiculously bad. That was my fault as well. This is a joke. If I... Like, I might die after the Cheetah Man screens, just saying. The way I'm playing right now, everything is possible. And this is why running this category in a marathon is a really bad idea. I'm doing it anyway because I wanted to try it. I regret everything. Okay, third time's the charm, I'm sure. Yay! Let's hope we can beat the last screen of the world first try. Okay, good. Oh, we did it. Success. That only took way too long. Here I come. Mario! Thankfully Double Trot exists, because I would probably be terrible at doing the Hammer Bros attack. But with Double Trot we luckily still kill him before the Hammer Bros attack comes in, which is nice, because that attack is actually hard. That should be plenty of damage. That's one dodge you have to make here, this jump. Okay. That sometimes kills me. Okay, that was a really good kill. Now we are doing the Mario. I unfortunately can't really do, because I'm busy shooting and jumping. I'm having so much fun right now. So I don't know if you guys noticed or know this yet, but I have some good information that these eggs don't actually kill you. Unfortunately I didn't get out and down and to show it off. It's Batman. Alright. Time for the hard part of the run. Number one. Um, you can't do the skip because you don't have a save to glitch to the floor, so you have to actually do this legit. And as a speedrunner, I'm not very practiced in this world. We're gonna see how it goes. The issue is the difficult part are the last two screens, and getting there takes a while. On my last run I first tried this. I hope that is a good sign. I'm gonna try to focus here. This screen is a bit tough. Good. We don't have a lot of frames to start only left there. Probably like three or four frames. Oh, that was close. Good. Good. That platform sometimes doesn't give you a gravity switch or whatever, I don't know. 
I had a faster strat of doing this, but I never learned it and I don't want to bother. We are doing these string strats here to hold right past the spike, which makes this entire segment considerably easier. Oh, I failed. But I saved it. Oh god. That is not where I expected to mess up twice. But I did, so... Back to the start we go. <laughs> this world is rough. There's a different way of doing the thing I just died to, where you don't full jump, but to do a, a strat that allows you to skip the last replenisher, you have to hold down the jump so you fall through the block instead of just touching it and turning around. That part is shit. I take a really uncomfortable part. You have to walk off, stop holding right for a tiny bit, and then start holding right again. That's like. One of the more difficult parts of this world. On the way up, you can just hold the direction past the spike, but on the way down, you can't. Which is dumb. So, yeah, this world has a lot of really awkward things. It's also kinda weird to platform it upside down. Because I'm pretty sure Boshi is actually a triangular hitbox, so when a triangle is upside down, it's actually kind of weird to control that. Like the, the visual cues for doing stuff gets different, which is going to be relevant later for the Vini Vini Vici part. No, dude, come on, I... <sighs> this is not going well. I should have at least least been to the difficult parts once by now. But that's why the estimate is so lenient, <laughs> actually. That's exactly why the... Estimate is so high. Because stuff like this happens. Also, I totally expected this to be a train wreck, yet I'm still kinda disappointed. Yes, all characters in this game have the same hitbox, but they all have a triangular hitbox. Hmm. <laughs> <coughs> I'm surprised I haven't died to this yet. At least we are getting far consistently, which is good because we have a chance to beat it soonish. On the other hand, we lose more time if we die if we get far every attempt. It's kinda meh. Alright, now for the difficult part. I practiced this a lot. <laughs> but... You never know. Okay. First try on the first hard part, now the other. Also known as the choke percent. Dude, I'm so nervous. <laughs> Heart is pounding, hands are It's 
So, the thing about this is only that Agnes are really dangerous. Because they are the only thing you can't do both directions. Actually, you can't do them top from bottom, but it's super precise. Uh oh. Okay. Success. <laughs> I am actually hyper nervous. <laughs> That's actually a huge relief right there. Alright. That was pretty bad overall, but I'm just glad we are past this. Now Biolante. Probably the most... Nah, not the most, but one of the more buff bosses in Rage Mode. The attacks that get added onto this are actually kinda weird. One of them is RNG heavy. So this attack here, the speed of these things and where they spawn is random. And the hitbox is weird. Did I just get every spawn with the same speed? It's amazing. <laughs> I was the freest RNG ever. Like I literally got every single spawn with the same speed from the bottom. Like usually the dangerous thing is when they overlap and such. Like they can go really slow or really fast, but that was like perfect RNG. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I was completely free. And that's Violante dead. We wanna mute the sound, skip the cutscene as always. World 5. Um, the main difference between normal runs and average mode is... Normal runs and rage mode, I think. Um, English, please. Um, the last screen, the moving spikes. You can't do a safe setup for them, so you have to kind of know what you're doing. Instead of just knowing the threat. Which hopefully goes well. The other difficult parts are the first screen. Which is kind of irrelevant for rage mode, I guess. And this corner. Yep. Always bad corner. RNG. It's actually not RNG. You already get the idea. I don't know if you have one or two frames to jump in Boshi for corners. Might depend on the line. The lines are weird in Boshi anyway. Because you sometimes just randomly change your line when you are moonwalking or slow walking. Or tapping left or right for one frame at a time. There we go. Now we should be good until the last screen. Where we are probably gonna die, but hopefully not. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my hopes up and say we first try it. Even though I haven't practiced that in particular in a while. Alright. Now for the hard part. Oh, I did it. I just showed the FPS counter because I pressed F8 instead of F9. <laughs> That's, that deserves a pop champ, honestly. So damage is really, really important on this boss. You do not want to do the part after the section, uh, after he starts being around you. The emerald attack, you do not want to get there. So you, want, you really want to kill him before that. Which, thanks to Double Shot, is not that hard. I just... I think I should have died. Don't jump. Oh, oh no, I was so focused on not being in the air there that I died to the rocket instead. Rip. Um, if you, he spawns on your height after that attack, did I just get him with one? That, what? Usually you have to wait for him to roll past the screen twice. Now the fight is a little bit different. Because I triggered this phase earlier, the rockets are different. Which might actually be good because this is the rocket I'm used to from average mode. I didn't even know this was possible. Yeah, that's much better. I take free if I get it like this. I thought this is the first time I've gotten it. 
Alright. Good. We are bringing the run back on track with good gameplay for once. Alright, World 6. The first screen is still really hard. And there's an extra thing because we can't skip Gradius. I want everyone to less RNG. So. We get good RNG on Gradius. If you get bad RNG on Gradius, it gets really, 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 really unreasonable. Also, this this jump here is hard. Okay, first try. Funnily enough, that jump is actually even harder on easy mode. Because for some reason, Hogan added a helper block. Also, this strat on Simon. You just go under him. Which is a strat that a casual player called Jake, Jake Web Media found. Thank you very much for that one. <laughs> That's like a really, really good strat for that part. That's rage mode specific. On average mode, you just reload and go. But for rage mode, that is a really, really, really good strat. I'm gonna try a fast strat here. I. Why do I. Do that. That saves like a second. And I just lost like 50 seconds to that. Whatever. Okay. Um, let's not do that skeleton tower strat again. The problem is I don't remember my other strat. Like that is the strat I use now on average mode. And I can't remember how I used to do it. Nope. Go away. Let's just do that again. I just wanted to show off the jump scare again. People that missed it the first time around. Alright. What did I used to do? I used to wait here. This? Yeah, that's how I used to do it. Good, I remembered. Ah, we are almost at the run killer. Um, there is a save in the Pokemon world. Pokemon, Pokemon world is really, really hard with Dark Boshi because of the bullet size. It's actually disadvantageous. So, we walk off here, then we hug this wall, fall straight down. It's like a good V-string for the entire drop if you walk off the top platform. It can be impossible, I think. You don't do it. Alright, that's RNG. That's not bad. Can I get a power up? Can I get a power up? Thank you. This is bad. Where's the line enemies? I want a line. Am I mashing here, by the way? Because mashing makes you deal more damage, which is relevant for the start. One more. Come on, one more. Okay. Now I can stop mashing because double laser deals enough damage. We haven't had a single cannon yet, which is good. Cannons are what makes this annoying. And the enemies at screen wrap. That's a cannon. So now we try to stack up options. If we have three options, we can pretty much be invincible. That was really good RNG. So unlike K3, and in K3 every enemy group dropped, and every enemy group spawn drops one power up. Um, here every enemy can spawn and power up. It's like a 25% chance or something. I would have to guess. Now I'm gonna get missiles just to be safe. I'm gonna get one more option then. Try to keep the screen clean. That's a lot of cannons. By the way, um, enemies don't disappear when they go to the edge of the screen. They screen wrap. So everything that I don't kill eventually comes back. We are, are going to do this now and wait. I, I can't die right now. Problem is I have to get to the end of the screen now. That can kill me. Good. First strike radius. BBF happy.
Alright. This is the most buff boss on rage mode. This boss is really, really difficult. Because you have to sit through the attack twice. If I happen to first try this boss, you can spam whatever you want. Just spam the chat. I can feel good about myself. That is pretty bad damage. Alright, the giant spike. Good. Now we have to do the second cycle. This has, this has a weird glitch, I don't know, it might actually be intentional, where the fireball starts spawning. The fireball from the bottom starts spawning earlier. Oh god. Oh god! Okay. He should be dead already, but I have that bad damage. I don't really care. Alright. It's not over yet. Don't get hype yet. Thoughts of me dying here are pretty low, but you never know. RNG has been bad before. Alright, now you can get hype. <laughs> the chat goes mild. So this is world 7, which, thank god, just thank god that there's a save point after half the world. I don't know what I just did there, but it did not work. You shouldn't die on the first half of World 7, but I just did. But that's okay. As long as I don't die a lot on the second half of World 7, we are perfectly fine. So, a thing to mention right away. In my PB, I lost like 7 or 8 minutes to the second half of World 7. Let's just hope that doesn't happen again, because I almost rage with the run there. <laughs> and it ended up being the world record, so... You never know what's gonna happen. Also, rage quitting a marathon run would be kinda bad, I think. That was almost bad. Alright, almost done with the first half. Spider trigger here. Rip the count. Alright. The second hardest world in the run, I think. Probably, I would say. Either this or world 10 are the second hardest. Doing that jump without the safe setup is actually pretty that difficult. I struggle with that a lot. Also, I don't know why, but these two spikes used to be one of the hardest parts of the game for a lot of people. But they, are, they just feel free lately. I don't know exactly why. Alright. Let's see what kind of pattern the third bird gives us.
this is this is not RNG per se. You're like if you end if you trigger this thing every time at the same time. What am I doing? Yeah, that was not good. I could have easily went through, but I didn't. Dip dip. Dip 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 dip. The thing about World 8 is that it has the single hardest screen in the game. At the end of the single most boring world in the game. If there was a safe before the level design room, Rage Mode would be such a fun run. <laughs> but there isn't. Okay, that was a bit exciting. Alright, now for the screen where I lost 8 minutes overall in my PB. I hope this doesn't happen again. This spike toggled screen. Um, what am I doing? I first tried in my practice and thought, okay, I got this. But I don't got this. <clears throat> I got the timing for this guy down apparently. I have no idea what you just said, Forgotten Reaper. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know. Like, apparently, this is the strat I have to do now because this is the cycle I get every time. It looks really great. Okay. <laughs> Loot like this. Ah. You don't die to that. The world is free after the spike toggle screen. How did I just die there? I'm so mad. <sighs> that ah, this is like a rerun of my PB. <laughs> basically. I don't know why this thread works that way. I'm glad it does. I'm biting my tongue right now. Thank the Lord. <clears throat> and now for the hardest boss in the game if we didn't have double shots. This boss is unreasonable for casual players, I think. In rage mode. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> because this is like the only boss in the game where you are on a timer. If you don't kill him on time, he's gonna kill you. And if you don't have double shot, it's actually really, really hard to kill him because he has so much HP on rage mode. <laughs> Luckily, the robot masters don't have more HP, so they are still free. Otherwise, this fight would be really bad. Also, if you play this casually, do not do left side strats for this part. They are terrible. Right side is so much easier. I could stand closer to Skullman and kill him faster, but I use the safe spots because it's also the safe spot for this part. And instead of remembering two safe spots, I only have to remember one. Which helps my brain, rather than really bad at 
remembering stuff. So yeah, you have to kill him before he runs you over here. Otherwise he kills you. And that worked, because double shot is amazing. Alright, kids. Buckle up and get seated. <laughs> we are gonna be here for a while. I'm gonna try this world for like 15 minutes. Until I get to like one hour. Be my idea. There is no guarantee I'm gonna beat this world. Probably because I'm gonna fall asleep instead. And this world is around what? Oh, I forgot the strat. Um, the fire wheels are cycled. Uh, the position is based on when you enter the screen. So if you just enter the screen right away, I, I can't do that strat. So I have to like delay entering it. So yeah, this is around one and a half minutes of auto scrollers, followed by a ridiculously hard platforming segment. And every time I die to the ridiculously hard platforming segment, I have to do the auto scrollers again. Amazing game design. 10 out of 10 would play again. So, if Sogren ever patches this game, which he probably won't, he should just add a save before good level design room on rage mode. It would make the run so much better and so much more consistent. Like, if you speedrun this, it's like you get to world 8 and just hope you don't lose the run. Almost there. Oh, I didn't have a second jump. If I get it first try, that would be something. I don't believe in the first try though. Wait here a bit, do the bong strats. I... I stopped. <laughs> I can't stop. If I stop, I overthink it. Just gotta go. Stopping is what makes this... I, I was in a bad spot, so I had like... I couldn't jump, so I had to reposition. As soon as I repositioned, I couldn't do that jump anymore. Also, that jump is really hard for me. The strategy is to do a low jump and then full jump. That is not the easy part. The first save is probably the hard part for me at this point. So yeah, we're gonna be here for a while. I have a save past whatever design room. In case I get stuck super hard, I'm gonna skip this world. Which is probably fair enough, otherwise I couldn't ensure beating the game in the estimates. Also, I've got gameplay. Which, from the run so far, I didn't really have. Oh, what? You should not die on the way to the level design room, ever. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that feel where you don't even get to the hard part because you are bad. I don't really have much to say. <laughs> so, how's everyone doing? Are you enjoying the fan game marathon? I hope you are. It has been a great event so far.
That's why I want to do a shout out to the tech crew. This marathon has been really, really smooth. Not that many tech issues. Which is great, because that's usually the main issue for online marathons. And offline marathons as well. So, shout outs to tech crew. And shout outs to all the runners, obviously. Without them, this wouldn't be a thing. I thought it was a frame late. Oh shit. Um, Pogchamp. I mean Pogchamp. <laughs> I mean Pogchamp. I, f I actually fucking did it in a marathon run. <laughs> I did it in a marathon run, dudes. The internet is over. I'm... Oh, that's not for the highlight reel. <laughs> oh! That was bad. I should have survived. So yeah, this is another really hard boss. Because you have to sit through all the RNG. You thought the two blood splatters at the start were bad. Well, you have to sit through all the blood splatters on this fight. Okay, that was bad RNG. That was like almost first try. Like the first attempt was died right at the start, so it doesn't really count. I wanted to talk about something on the quote unquote difficult jump, like the last save, where you have to jump single jump over the spike like that. And then re-jump for the drop. Um, I think everyone always thought you have to full jump that jump, but I, I figured out while practicing that if you do it a jump like one frame lower than full jump, you don't bonk and it gives you like at least one more frame of leeway for your jump position. That's the only reason I started running rage mode. Because I found something that actually makes that part easier. Given that doing a one frame less than full jump jump is really really hard. But I did it first try, so... Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, normally the fight would be over now, but we got some more shit to do. One more RNG part, and we should be good. Mostly. Alright. Wait. Okay. And the second cycle is weird, like... It's weird to manipulate the... Ice little kick guy. Also, I'm not killing him here on purpose. Because the, the platforms stop when you kill him, and... Sometimes you drop down, and... There's no platform to land on. Well, I'm I'm super relieved about that what 8 clear. That was like 5 minutes. And like 2 and a half of those 5 minutes were me dying to stupid shit. Okay, World 9. The only world in the game I've never first tried, I think. Because the first screen is like impossible first try. But I did it this run. Maybe I'm gonna first try this world today. You are actually... Didn't die on the first screen. Oh god! What is the spike doing? Whoa, oh, oh god, where's the spike? I'm panicking. Okay. <laughs> that was exciting. That was exciting. This is the Kid Icarus world, basically random stuff thrown together. So if we don't die here, we should have the world done. Everything after this is pretty easy. That's actually a pretty good split. Actually it isn't. Could be much better. It can always be better though. I once again... Quick kill doesn't matter that much in this... category. Just not dying is what makes you get the world record. 
You don't need two platform optimally or anything. Alright. I'm gonna do old strats on the next screen because I don't know how to do the new strat without the safe reload setup. Um, how do you do this? Like this. Like this. Let's hope we don't die to the spider leg wiggle. I like dying to that. And the spider leg wiggles while she's not on screen, so... The way she wiggles when she comes on the screen depends on when you trigger her. That was first try. Alright. We are gonna mash this guy down. It's gonna hurt my finger because he has double HP. Ah, my finger is hurting already. Ah. <laughs> oh my god. This is by far the most exhausting boss in the game. <laughs> Alright, now for the final difficult part of the run. The funny thing is, this world is the exact same on both average mode and rage mode, because because of the skips where you don't die between hitting the, hitting the buttons, you don't do any reload strats. You just... Rage mode and average mode take the same in this. Except that you can't die in the middle screen. Or can't die anywhere, really. <laughs> this plays very similar to average mode, so it's probably the hard, uh, the easiest world to learn for rage mode. Because it's basically the exact same thing. This is the hard screen. That screen can cost me a lot of time. Also, unless this world takes literally forever, we are on very good pace to crush the estimate right now. Cheetah man attempts after, I could do that. Depends on how far, how fast I beat this world. If I get an underestimate, I can do Cheetah man. Or Kappa, or any actual any percent wrong warp stuff. Okay, RNG please. This screen's RNG. The shuriken that fall from the ceiling are random. Okay. Okay. That had to stall because of RNG, but didn't die. We should, 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 should be good for this world now. I say should because I've never first tried the second half of this world in a run. That was close. I have the most peculiar death and rage mode in this world. Okay. That's why I died in my PB, just like 5 minutes, because I couldn't do the world afterwards. Nice, that was really good. Time for the boss. I've not died to before in rage mode, so I'm probably gonna die a bunch now. Can I find the fight? Thank you. So missing though is basically the same. Like the fight only changes, you have to do more attacks. That's all this fight changes. Like he, it's like the only fight where there are no new attacks or anything. You just have to survive more. Which means the difficulty doesn't really increase. Kinda of depends on how many you get.
I wonder if this could actually have been PV pays if I didn't die to Ryu or screw up World 3 and 4 so much. Oh, the rest has been really good. Okay. So yeah, this fight is really kind of boring. Lots of having good RNG are even lower than on average modes. Come on, give me a splash or something so I can kill you. Oh. Alright. This world is really, really easy on easy rage modes. Because there's a save here, so we can do the skip. And then there's a save afterwards, which I don't know why there's a save after this part. But I'm glad there is, because having to do this over and over would be kind of obnoxious. Oh, I even got the super jump, and I forgot to save. make it. Again, this world uses safe setups for these things, so learning the timing for Rage 1 is kinda hard. In a run yesterday, or two days ago, I got stuck on this world for like 10 minutes. I'm gonna do the slow strat. I'm not gonna do the insane skip where you skip the button and do the like frame perfect jump at the bottom. Not gonna happen. Gonna do cactus skip either. Rage mode is about playing safe. I could do the tower for the fact that we are gonna crush the estimate. <laughs> but I don't like the tower. I think this run can be sub Kale. I think Kale is 106. I'm not sure if he has 106, but you know. It should be around that. We are not done yet though. Soul Green can take literally forever if you have bad RNG. This fight is impossible RNG. Um, fun fact, he, this guy doesn't have double HP on phase 1, he has triple HP. I don't know why. Okay, there's 103. I got illusion at 103. Why did I jump for that? Okay, that worked. <laughs> that worked, somehow. So this part is really hard to learn. This took me forever to learn casually. I think everyone has their own strat for that. Okay, the RNG part. He can literally spawn on top of me and can be impossible to dodge. Or he can just spawn really far off and it's free. Good. Thank you very much. That's why we hate this boss. That is good. He doesn't even shoot bullets if he spawns that far out. <laughs> yep, just keep doing that. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. 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 Amazing.
I love that. I get really good RNG and then I throw it away. That's my favorite. Are they getting space recover or missing now and not killing it on average mode? He really tried. Oh, he's not done yet. What? What is happening? Oh my god. I'm sorry. That should not have happened either of those times. Yeah, Boshi is the literal screen shake game. I forgot what to do. Guys, don't tell the organizers, but I'm fading on purpose to not crush the estimate that much. It doesn't matter. I don't I don't care. I could be stuck on this boss for an hour now. I wouldn't care because I've, I beat World 8 in a marathon. That's all I wanted to do. Now this is the run. Okay. He is really trying. Thank you! That was pretty bad. Potential 3 cycle hype. Oh my, that was really good second cycle. not die. That was really close to dying. I'm not gonna do Swag Sonic. What I'm gonna do... Nah, I don't know. I'm gonna do the normal Sonic. I don't wanna die. I really don't wanna die. <laughs> There's like several strats for this that look a lot more dangerous. But, yeah, safe. So, get ready on time. It's like in... Seconds. Whenever the cutscene starts after he's dead, which is like three, two, one time. That was extremely good. <laughs> that was really, really good. Wow. Who would have thought that I have the power to do this? So, what's the plan? I saw in Discord that we might do chair one now. If Eric is here. I don't know if I have time to show off extra content. Waltz, please help. Hi. Hi. Uh, how much extra content do you have? I could do the Kappa boss and Cheetah Man or an any percent run. That is like five minutes. I would say just do the Kappa boss for now because it's basically a requirement on a Twitch stream. 
Alright. Do I even have a backup safe there? Do I have a backup safe? This one? Let's see where we are in the safe. Oh! You didn't just see that. Now we are going to show why Sonic is broken. Also these platforms are here because... Obviously we collect collected. Get ready for Boeing. Favorite part of the run. That's Pac-Man down there, but I couldn't trigger him. It's Batman. Alright. Favorite part of Twitch chat in every run ever. I'm just gonna wait here for a little bit. Can I, like, point out how insane it is that I beat World 8 in 5 minutes? I went a bit too early. Oh well. How fitting. Oh. Oh, well, I pressed reload by accident. I'm smart. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I'd say, I think that's the first time anyone's ever lost time on this segment in a speedrun. There we go. Um, we go here, I think, yeah. Alright. I hope you get as hype as the chat in the background when I beat this. Oh! Good death. Just take- just giving the other guys time to set up, obviously. They aren't set up yet. I'm probably gonna die to this part once because it's like learning. I haven't learned this in a while. <laughs> oh, we did it. I don't even know what emotes that were. I couldn't recognize any of them. <laughs> Now the boss loops because it's really short. And it's dead. So I want you to do this, what the chat is doing here. That would be it for Boshi for this marathon, I think. If the others are ready, I'm ready to... leave the stream. Thank you for having me. I was really, really hype. I'm actually still excited about the World 8 clear. I hope you enjoyed the run, despite the difficulties at the start of the game. I recovered quite nicely from having a terrible start. Or a terrible World 3, World 4. Alright. Is the tech crew ready? Can I stop the stream? Or... I believe we should be ready. That's good. Just tell me when to stop streaming. Uh, alright. Let me just get this going. Transition. 